Today, in this two minute tutorial, I will be showing you my workflow to edit Milky Way images. I will be using Adobe Lightroom CC Classic with the Nick Collection plugin for this video. After I've imported my files, the first thing I always do is remove chromatic aberration, apply lens corrections, and reset the automatic sharpening that Lightroom applies to all imported images. Next, I find a neutral white balance. A neat trick is to increase saturation and vibrancy to max values then adjust white balance until a relatively even amount of blue and orange colors are present. Then, I increase exposure and contrast, revealing the faint details the camera captured. Adjustments to highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks will vary from photo to photo, but in general, I further increase contrast by raising highlights and whites, as well as lowering blacks and shadows. The tone curve is where things really get interesting. By clicking the small target icon above the graph, we can adjust the tone curve by dragging in the photo. Begin by finding a bright area of the Milky Way and dragging up, then a dark area of the Milky Way and dragging down. This creates a slight S-curve that increases contrast that will give your image more pop. Finally, I like to add a radial filter over the Milky Way with minor adjustments to exposure, whites, and contrast, just to further separate the Milky Way from the surrounding sky. Next, I'm going to use the Nick Collection plugins Nick Color Effects Pro and Nick Define to bring this photo to the next level. In Color Effects Pro, I'm going to apply the Glamour Glow and Tonal Contrast filters to enhance dust lane detail in the Milky Way. After applying the filters in Nick Define, I'm going to use their industry leading noise reduction tool to reduce noise in my image. After I finish my edits, I'll export the photo as a high quality JPEG as well as a DNG in case I want to reprocess the file later. Thank you for watching this 2 minute tutorial. Subscribe to Apple Apps and support the channel. Thanks for watching.